it's me again. We've just come down to the, can you see me? Yeah. Let's come down to the socket, which is behind there. I've just loosened it off. Hold it back. Just loosened it off. What we're going to do, I've got the top done. I've cut it, I brought it all down, I wiped it. So I'm just going to show you how we do the socket, making sure you can feel the butt joints. Hey, they're very butt. Lovely. Just see the chalk that wipes off. I'm going to come down with a sponge, but that's not a problem. Right, so we're feeling the corners. I've got a pencil. I'm not trying to do one handed. I've got a pencil. There's the first corner. So what I do, I just mark it with a pencil. You're not going to see it, are you? Just mark it with a pencil. Find the second corner. The second corner's just there. Mark that with a pencil. And get the bottom corner. Just mark that with a pencil. And then the final corner down here. Just feel it. Mark that with a pencil. So I know where they are. And the idea is, can you see me? The idea is, you've got it already hanging, you've already got it hanging over, oh, come back a bit. You've already got it hanging over the socket. So you're going to cut the corners into the middle. Then I'll trim it back. So if I can, I'll put you on the floor, or I can put you on something, and I'll show you how I do it. Hold on. Let me find a box. Let me just see if this is all right. Is that all right as a box? Yeah. Put you on there. I am here, look. Oh, my pencils are dropping out of my hair. Right, you should be able to see me. You see me, right? So I've got the corners. I'm going to get my blade. Because I can see where the pencil mark is. So I'm going to cut just inside that pencil mark come on, there you can see the other ones just inside it number three just inside it now number four I can't really see it so I'm going to go back on again I can feel where it is I can just see the pencil mark so I'm going to go back in on that now what I do I cut those out Them all out. Not going up to the, not going up to where I started from. Just going slightly in. You see what I've got now? I've got flaps. Can you see that? I've got flaps. I can see. Can you that? So look, I've got flaps. I'm well in. There's the corner. There's the corner. There's the corner, and there's the corner. So what I'm going to do now is just make sure I know where it all is and I'm going to trim that off with the shears inside. Now a good tip is make sure you trim just past, if we're going like that, just past where the screws are and then you know you're all right on the other side. Same there, you be just bent back, trim there, trim there. Right, I'll put you back on the box, see if we can get this. Showing you how to do it. These shears are actually fat hog. They're the nicest ones I've found. Couldn't do it with a blade actually. Because I want it straight, I don't want it a bit cack handed. No, it needs to be, it needs to be straight. So we're all, we're all cut there. Can you focus on me there? Focus, hello. Camera come on, focus. No. Anyway, so I'm going to be really careful. Got my spatula. I'm just going to pull the socket away. 
this paper is not going to rip. It's not going to rip. I'm just going to loosen it off a bit more. Give myself a bit more room. It's not going to rip this paper. It's a non-woven. Let me just lift it off. It's not. Tucking it behind. Very thick paper. It'll go on its own. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Nicely. Right, just have to rip it down, not one far enough. Not to worry. It's going in. Lift that away. Oh, it's gone in lovely. Poke that bit. So we're all in, look at that, straight on. Let's just make sure we put joint straight on there. rip slightly look it just ripped there but where's it ripped it didn't matter because I've allowed for it it's at the back it's actually at the back of the socket which is fine yeah that's better so I've got that on making sure we're all down at the bottom the butt joint there is spot on and across there I'm just going to Cut that excess off. I don't want any more than I need to be working with. Right. Make sure the paste is at the back of the socket all the way around. The butt joint's good. And down on there. I'm just going to push it in with my fingers so I can feel it. Push it in with that. I'm just going to go with the blade now. I'm going to snap off a, another blade. Because I knew I was doing a feature wall on this wall, I went across the top edge of the skirting and the coving with um, a bead of cork or mastic, depending on how you want to call it. But it's decorator's cork. Right, so we're wiping off the socket in case any paste, not that there will be any paste, and then we're just going to nip. Nip that up. You can come back later if you want to go with a spirit level just to line them all up but you've got enough paper at the back now there's nothing going to be on show and that's nipped in. Look at that. It's real good. I must feel it. Seam roller, straight in, lovely. Cross that bottom, nip it all in. It's all good. I'll just do a bit of a close up on that last length I did 10 minutes ago. Right, you see, you're gonna, it's gonna run out. It's gonna run out somewhere. We've got it good at the top. We're coming down and we know it runs out at the bottom. So we've got it at eye level, we've got it all matching. Matches nicely at the top, but what's going to happen? It is going to run out and it starts running out there. Nothing you can do about it. It's a, it's a busy, it's a busy pattern. It's not going to be noticeable. Customer will probably have something there anyway, but there's not much you can do about it. But for me, I know that the piece that's gone on just there is plumb because we have the laser on it and we've got it at eye level or matching. So we're all good with that. So we go across the top. I've got another full length to go on, which I won't video. I've got a socket, um, a sensor up in the corner, I'll take off. And then it's just straightforward cutting. I won't film this because it's basic stuff. You come into there, you cut off there, tuck in, tuck in, trim, trim. Jobs are good and dead easy. Basic stuff, really basic stuff. Secret is, sharp blade and a straight edge. But so far, so good. Right, I'll turn off. Thank you.